First, the most popular mistake I think every beginner made is calculating next state as it is based on the current state. Let's assume we have a button that simply increases our state count and in our case we would like to increase it first time and second time. So we should have 0, then 2, then 4 and so on. Let's check how it works. As we can see it works incorrectly. And the reason is basically that we are using the count variable which is taken from the closure here. Let's fix it quickly. We should use an updater function. This way we always take the most fresh value that is stored in our state. Let's check it out. Now it works fine. The second mistake is related to initial state recalculation on each re-render. It is happening in new state and use reducer for example when we provide some initial state. So in new state we have a first parameter where we pass our initial state and let's assume we calculate it somehow, some heavy computations. So we call this function right now on each re-render. The same goes with re user reducer. We are passing a second parameter our initial state. So this way we are calling calc initial for reducer also on each render. Let's check it out. You see we call them both on each re-render. So let's try to fix it quickly. For use state we are going to provide an initializer function as a first parameter. We can do it easily and quickly like this. Let's check that it works properly. All right, now we have only initial for reducer called on every re-render. Let's now try to fix use reducer as well. So with reducer, there is another interface where we need to pass initial argument as a second parameter and initializer function as a third parameter. This means that during calculation initial state, use reducer will use this function and will call it with this argument. So basically it is the same as we had previously, but this will happen inside use reducer internally. But for fixing our issue, we need to provide three parameters right now, like this. Let's check that it works properly. Okay, we're clicking re-renders and there is no extra console logs on each render. The third mistake is about calling fetch or axios directly from the component code, meaning this code is declared exactly in the use effect that is inside the component. And as we know, implementation details of data fetching is not a concern of any UI component usually. So that's why I see some better options such as importing get data function, for example, where the fetch will be declared or passing prop get data, for example, or the third option is using custom hook, which I prefer the most currently. And right now we are loading some list of countries from this open API. Let's try to improve this code. I've prepared a custom hook beforehand. So it's located below. I called it use app data. It is based on use reducer and have some a bit more complex states that uh, usually we, we use with use state. That's why I used uh, use reducer actually. It's quite convenient to place some computation of my state into a reducer function. 
but it's another topic. So use app data custom hook returns an object with three values data is loading indicator and the function that helps us to load data. We also have two options actually. We can place use effect directly inside of this hook and load this data and return only an array and an indicator. Or we might provide this load data function outside and delegate this decision to our component exactly. I prefer the second way for demonstration purposes. So let's utilize this hook. Okay, here we go. Let's place console logs a bit below. And we need to load our data. We will do it the next way. We provide as a dependency load data function and call it from use effect. All right, so it should remain working the same. Let's say firstly. All right, it works. It is called two times because I have a React application in dev mode. It's create React app, so don't worry. Firstly, we have loading false and empty array. And then we have loading true and empty array. And finally, we have loading false and our data. Looks like it works fine. The first mistake is about not making a cleanup on our component unmount event. So for example, we might have listeners or timers that we are creating when the component is mounted. In our case, it's a resize event. So we are subscribing to a browser resize event when our component is mounted, but we are not unsubscribing when it's unmounted. Let's see what happens. So right now, if we resize, we see the resize event and we can check how many listeners we do have here in elements tab clicking event listeners and here resize we have two event listeners just because we are in the mode in create react app so let's check that we're doing wrong right now if we unmount our component and mount it again we should have four listeners let's check Right, we have four listeners. If we do the same operation again, unmounting and mounting, right, we have six and so on. So let's quickly fix it. We should return a function from use effect. This is called a cleanup function. We are basically doing a mirror operation, remove event listener, and we should pass exactly the same function that we passed into our initial event listener. Okay, let's check that it works. So let's restart everything. So we should have one event and we don't have actually a second event because in the mode React runs hooks twice and in this case for the second run React already called our cleanup function and removed first listener. So this is kind of indicator that we are doing right right now. We have one listener. It should work fine. Yes. And if we unmount and mount again, we are updating our listeners. Okay, we have only one listener. And let's check that we are completely remove listeners. We unmount our component. And yep, we don't have resize listeners at all. If we mount component, 
Then we have only one listener. The fifth issue is about dependencies array and passing the, for example, objects that are new all the time on each re-render. Let's see it in action. So we are passing an object that is new on each render and this means console log is run every time. For this example I took an object that is returned from the custom hook just because I remember that in custom hooks we always return an array or an object. It's always a new object. That's why if we pass it in the dependencies array it is run every time on every render. So to fix this we need to pass some value that is not changed so often. For example this value is a string and it's static in our case. If we pass here dot value then we shouldn't have such problem. Let's check. Alright, now there is no console log that is run on every render. One more very common mistake is to create a handler like this, meaning without using use callback hook. This means that in this case this callback this handler is recreated on each render. This might not be noticeable at the small even medium applications, but in some cases it might affect a performance. For example, this function is recreated on each render and if we would like to pass this function into another component, let's say we have some component, then this new function on each render might be a reason for triggering a render of this component. Just because on click prop will be all the time new. So to fix this we simply need to wrap our increase handler into the use callback hook like this and also provide an array of dependencies. The seventh most popular mistake is to not memorizing values derived from props. In our example we have a variable derived value that is a composition of three props. We are multiplying two props and adding one more. For this example I have each, each value in from props is equal to 5, that's why we have 30, like 5 multiplied by 5 is 25 plus 5 is 30. So in this case this variable is recalculated each time we have a re-render of the component even despite that our props are not being changed. So we are doing useless work actually. Let's fix it by using a use memo hook in this case. So what we need to do, we are declaring use memo first parameter is to provide a function that returns some value for us and second is usually dependencies array. In this case we need to provide our three props. And basically that's it. If the props are staying the same then this use memo hook will return the same value, the right value without recalculating this logic. For this example this is quite simple logic but imagine you might have a function with some heavy computations that are not very good to run on each render. They might slow down actually your application. Okay right now we fixed the issue. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.